stars and stripes for the Secretary of State as he arrived in a country where masks in public are mandatory. The fact that Mike Pompeo is here at all in a global lockdown is significant, designed to demonstrate that these two countries couldn't be closer. But with masks off for meetings, coronavirus was the first focus. You're a great partner. You share information, unlike some other countries that, <laughs> that try and obfuscate and hide that information. And we'll talk about that country too. A dig at China, but it was accusations against Iran which dominated. There is something else plaguing our region, which is uh, uh, un, uh, unremitting Iranian aggression and terror. And I want to express my appreciation for the strong position that the president and you and your administration put forward against uh, Iran. Israel's 16-month political deadlock ends this week with the formation of an unusual government. This man, Benny Gantz, once Netanyahu's rival, is now his coalition partner and will take over as prime minister in 18 months. In these corona times, it's harder to read the body language, but it's true that Mr. Gantz has been less enthusiastic about Mr. Netanyahu and President Trump's plans for West Bank annexation. Mr. Netanyahu says he will apply Israeli sovereignty to Jewish settlements in the West Bank. If he follows through on that rhetoric, it will represent a significant shift in the landscape here. It will enrage Palestinians. And while he does have the support of Donald Trump's administration, he will draw criticism and condemnation from pretty much everywhere else globally. 20 miles south of Mr. Pompeo's meeting, at the same time in the West Bank city of Hebron, Palestinians were burying a 14-year-old boy, shot dead this morning. Israel acknowledged that its forces used live rounds after Palestinians threw rocks and firebombs during an operation to arrest someone. 24 hours earlier, it was an Israeli soldier killed, a family on the other side grieving. And so this conflict rumbles on, often unnoticed at a low intensity, but there is certainly no peace process here. Mark Stone, Sky News in Jerusalem.